everyone, it's your girl Sam and today for Vlogmas I'm going to be trying DIY hot cocoa bombs. They've been exploding everywhere on the internet. Apparently it's blowing up on TikTok and this has been around for a while but this year it just like went crazy. So I'm going to try it too. I bought these molds to try making those glazed mousse cakes but since I never got around to doing that, using the Ghirardelli dark chocolate flavored melting walkers. I also have white chocolate. Some people said it might not work but I'm going to test it out anyway. Um, the hot cocoa mix and then we had to get you know actual mini marshmallows optional is to have this peppermint mini candy canes on top and this is just another bag in case I mess up or want to make more in the future I'm kind of just following directions as it goes I didn't really prepare ahead of time melt these and try not to melt it too much so that it's not too thin right. it says melt it into a microwave plate not plate a bowl seconds did not do much it started melting a little bit at the bottom but all right it's gonna need more time guys what i just did was perfect there's like little blobs in here you might not see it but i just need the little blobs to melt inside themselves and that is a great consistency for us to start i don't know if this is too thin or not but i guess we'll find out once we start putting these inside when i tested the size of the sphere against a regular size mug it was a little big i can clean those up later all right i'm going to use spoon. i'll we'll be using this kind of spoon I might just remelt this chocolate a little bit. Now I shall refrigerate this for maybe 10 minutes. Some of them are already drying. I'm gonna work on the second batch. This time around, I'm gonna try to make them thinner. I watch those videos where people just flip it over and it drips out on its own, but mine have been so thick it hasn't been doing that. I was watching Emmy Made in Japan's thing. I didn't really remember the steps, but I remember her mentioning that she let it melt into itself instead of just letting it all fry itself. Let me do that method where they would just go. Oh, it's working. It's still pretty thick, to be honest. All right, I finished these and they already started drying a little. I just took them out of the fridge. Oh my goodness. There's some with slight holes in them. Actually, I'm gonna fill in the gaps real quick and put it back. Back out of the fridge. I've washed my hands like 500 times already. I'm going to need to use a lot of hand lotion tonight. Oh, I also have a hand lotion I recommend. It said it shows results in one night and I tried it and my hand looked a lot better, especially after baking. It's for nighttime use, but I just put it on the backs of my hands even during the day. Um, if you're interested, I'll like let you know what it looks like. But yeah, it was a game changer for me, so I just wanna share that. All right, so it's done. I think the parts I covered up Look better now, kind of. Lift the edges, and as I lift the edges, I'm gonna push from the bottom where they say it's thickest. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm gonna do the same for all of these, gonna pop it out. I was just able to fill in the last two balls if everything goes well, and how I ended up with this much chocolate on my hands, I do not know. Just separating the edge. It's really gentle. It's just like literally not even a millimeter of it. Just making sure the edge is off. I'm using facing up little dippers. So I have three of them. That way when I put this in the middle, it's kind of like a stand. And I measured out one packet of the hot cocoa mix. It's about three tablespoons. They recommend doing about one tablespoon in each hot cocoa bomb. More fragile than the others. It got thinner and shinier the more I progress. I'm currently waiting for a plate to heat at very, very low flame so that I can place it here and then flip this over and melt a little bit of it so that it fits. All right, melt. Wow, it's melting. I'm gonna put in a scoop of this and then throw in some marshmallows. Find a matching one. I have to be careful, I'm like spilling the hot cocoa everywhere. Probably gonna be my tester one. But I just made the nicest one. Now, the last scoop, I'm just gonna throw it in. Please fit. 
I got so lucky. Oh, I just need to seal it. It's gonna look so strange, but the ones I really messed up and there was like a big hole, I just kept adding chocolate until it dried and adding more chocolate to seal it up so that the hot cocoa doesn't fall out and the marshmallows don't get all stale. This one's the biggest hole. I literally just took another piece of chocolate from before and added it on top. 